Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're bringing you the July Family Visa Update, where we will provide you with the latest information to see if a visa is available for you. This month, we'll also discuss the challenges in the Family Visa application process and share some advice on how to overcome them. Plus, we have an exciting opportunity for you to be career ready while waiting for your visa. Stay tuned for details on our Build Your Career in America course at the end of the video, which you won't want to miss. Before we dive in, here's a quick family visa tip. Always keep track of your priority date, which you can find on your form I-797, Notice of Action. This date is crucial in knowing when you can move forward with your application. Now, without further ado, let's start by understanding the family visa categories. The U.S. Immigration and Nationality Act, INA, has different categories for family-sponsored immigrant visas, known as preference categories. Here they are. First preference, F1, unmarried sons and daughters of U.S. citizens. Second preference, F2, spouses, children, and unmarried sons and daughters of permanent residents. This is divided into two subcategories, F2A, spouses and children of permanent residents, F2B, unmarried sons and daughters, 21 years or older, of permanent residents. Third preference, F3, married sons and daughters of U.S. citizens. Fourth preference, F4, brothers and sisters of adult U.S. citizens. Let's take a look at the latest final action dates for family-sponsored preference cases for July 2024. This table will help you determine if a visa is available for you this month. Visas are available only for applicants whose priority dates are earlier than the specific date in this table. For example, if you're an F3 applicant from Mexico, your priority date must be before March 1st, 2000. Check the table and see if your visa is ready or you are getting close to getting a visa. Now let's take a look at the dates for filing family-sponsored visa applications table. This table shows when you can submit your documents to the National Visa Center. If your priority date is earlier than the date listed for your category and country, you can start preparing your documents. For instance, if you're an F4 applicant from the Philippines and your priority date is before April 1st, 2006, you can begin your filing process. Review the dates in this table and see if you should soon start the visa filing process. Here's a family visa. Tip, getting a head start on your paperwork can make the process smoother. Gather clearances, especially if you previously worked in another country, since this may take time. Also, contact a translator if your documents contain a foreign language other than English. It is a requirement that any document containing a foreign language submitted to the service shall be accompanied by a full English language translation, which the translator has certified as complete and accurate, and by the translator's certification that he or she is competent to translate from the foreign language into English. Let's talk about some of the challenges families face when applying for a visa. One major issue is the lengthy waiting times. For example, the F4 category, which includes brothers and sisters of adult U.S. citizens, often has wait times exceeding 10 years. Many applicants in the F4 category from the Philippines have waited over 23 years to get their visas approved. Another challenge is navigating the complex paperwork and documentation required. Missing or incorrect documents can cause significant delays. The National Immigration Form states that one of the most common reasons for delays is incomplete or inaccurate forms. Additionally, the financial cost of the visa process can be a burden. Filing fees, medical exams, and travel expenses add up quickly. The U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, USCIS, has increased filing fees over the years, making it more challenging for families to afford the process. So how can you overcome these challenges? Here are some tips. Stay organized. Keep all your documents in one place and double-check them before submission. Seek help. Consult an immigration lawyer or a reputable immigration service for guidance. Stay informed. Regularly check the Visa Bulletin for priority and filing dates updates. Plan financially. Budget for all potential costs and start saving early. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. Please come back to this channel, The Immigrant Channel, for more helpful videos. And now, as promised, here's more information on our Build Your Career in America course.
Are you an immigrant or a prospective immigrant in the United States? Navigating a new country can be challenging, but with the proper guidance, you can build a successful and fulfilling career and achieve your dreams. Introducing our comprehensive online course designed specifically for immigrants or people looking to grow professionally like you. Build your career in America. Our course covers everything you need to know to thrive in the U.S. job market and beyond. Our course includes eight detailed modules. Module 1, Job Search Strategies. Module 2, Resume and Cover Letter Writing. Module 3, Preparing for Job Interviews. Module 4, Professional Licensing and Certification Module. 5, Workplace Culture and Communication Module. 6, Career Advancement and Professional Growth Module. 7, Financial Planning and Stability Module. 8, Mental and Emotional Wellness. Build Your Career in America is a course designed to provide you with the knowledge and tools you need to succeed. Whether you're just starting or looking to advance your career, our course is here to support you every step of the way. Don't wait any longer. Take the first step towards a brighter future in the United States. Send an email to the .immigrant.1969 at gmail.com to enroll today. Your success story begins here. Build your career in America. Empowering you for a brighter future. Enroll now.